another commentary done by Diggity. Ooh, nice color palette. Upper right hand corner, we have DeWalt starting as the very fetching blue. I'll just call that blue. Bottom left hand corner, we have Ziki starting as green. And kind of like a pastel thing going right now. Really dig it. So set is evened up 2-2. So Ziki showing some strength early on. And DeWalt showing why he's DeWalt. Uh, adjusting in his games, in these matches. This is... I guess I should do the full announcement. This is the first set of fighting of round three of Fighting Spirit Mania between Ziggy and DeWalt. The series is currently tied 2-2. And not just a... So there's not just potential for this to be a finals in BSL 14. This might be a what we see in the final bracket of Fighting Spirit Mania, potentially. We'll see. Overlord Scout going to the upper left-hand corner... Probe Scout moving towards mid-map. We'll see if there's a gateway opener once again. Considering how... Honestly, I would expect... I don't know. I feel like it would be... Oh, is he going to go for a 14 Nexus? So no Probe hanging around to plop down additional defense. So I, Which leads me to believe that DeWalt wants to put down a Nexus sooner rather than later. And he wants to get the scouting information to know whether it's safe to do so. It is not going to be safe because... Looks like we are seeing a spawning pool. It looks like that was an overpool build, which still allows for the Zergling aggression. Wandering down, is he going to be... Is he going to drop the forge? Yeah, so he is dropping the forge for due diligence. Sending out a second probe scout, once again, to go ahead and try to get eyes. But with this, he needs to bring down a third probe, potentially, to go ahead and drop that first cannon. The initial drone doing... Looks like chasing that... Uh, probe down actually trying to blockade the ramp this is clever play from ziki as well so just looking to run up and assault this probe it's a <laughs> really going after it too second drone coming off the line plopping down the hatchery the hatchery timing should give dewalt some indication but it looks like dewalt is going to go ahead and try to plop down that nexus and sneak away with it four zerglings are in production however actually sorry six zerglings are in production the one advantage here is that right now there's no scouting information. First cannon warping in. If the Zerglings just go straight for the main, they'll definitely be able to slip by and might even be able to take that cannon down, potentially. One Zergling splitting off. Let's see if they're going to the... So this drone scout wandering up. It looks like they are going cross map. So this drone's going to scout. It's going to see that cannon still coming online. It, it actually, if it jumps in and joins the cannon attack, looks like it is going to back off. And these Zerglings are pretty well scattered, actually. So I'm wondering if they're going to back off. So the cannon is up. More probes need to come off the line to provide some additional padding and defense. It looks like they are, in fact, there in position. The Zergling's now regrouping. DeWalt going ahead and harassing that 9 o'clock location. And DeWalt looks like, yeah, he's going to pull it off. He's he's okay. There are... This is a huge... I need to keep that in mind. There's a huge rush distance, distance between the cross positions here. Looks like the drone actually going to go ahead and back off. This drone going to opt for the 6 o'clock base instead. The Zergling's actually still pressing in. And Ziki, again with the Zekilings, able to get two probes and still sneak in. I'm wondering if they can go ahead and end around. That cannon will be able to hit on the line, but potentially they can at least deny... Let's see how well he covers this. They can threaten the probe line and make it a little bit more difficult for DeWalt to get some economic uh, action done. The Zealot going to go ahead and try to wander up to evict these Zerglings. A probe on delayed scout that was hanging out the 9 o'clock going to be able to go ahead and wander up. It's going to see that layer morphing, so it looks like this is at least... Baseline going to be three hatch mutilisk. The zealot chasing down these zerglings. It, like, it looks like they were able to sneak into the main. So they're going to be able to go ahead and see that assimilator. As well as the cybernetics core coming online behind all of this. And that probe going to be able to... It looks like it's taking a bit of damage. But it is going to be able to confirm the third base. And I think uh, additional zerglings being built. Which I think is wise against DeWalt. Knowing how DeWalt likes to... I mean we've seen it time and time again. And he sneaks out those initial three zealots. The Zergling's going to be able to wander up and also see that Stargate timing to know where they're at. Overlord at the 9 o'clock location, potentially a target. They also have the nearby Overlord, which is potentially a target for the Corsair to get an early Overlord uh, hit. More Zealots 
streaming out, and the first zealot marching across the map. It looks like the Overlord did in fact see it, so the Zergling's looking for an intercept route. And I, I think, well, are they going to find the zealot? They are going to find the zealot in an open field. So it's not long for life. Good play on Zeke's part. However, keep in mind that's also an initial Overlord once the Stargate comes online. That's potentially a target. The Zeke Link's still alive inside the main. How many kills do these guys have? So three kills on this Zergling alone. The Zealot making life hard in that bottom right hand corner. It looks like it was able to get in that backhand mineral line, but two Zerglings were taken out. Spire on the way. Corsair about halfway finished. So there's going to be, yeah, timing where this Overlord, it looks like it's trying to flee to the hills. Might... So that's certainly going to be a target. Some drones being transferred to the 6 o'clock location. Looks like the 4th hatch being planted there. Kind of at a... Not really in a blockade formation. But 4th and 5th hatch. So I think this is going to be a transition to... After the spire's up, we should see a Hydralis den. And not too long, potentially. It's also possible we're going to see 5 hatch or 6 hatch uh, Mutalisk. The Zergling seeing the initial Corsair. It looks like the Corsair not opting to chase down the 9 o'clock or upper left-hand corner. Going to get that scouting information instead. Try to confirm the build order. So across the 6 and is easily going to be able to do so. Finds the two hatcheries there. Sees the lair. Sees the spire. I'm wondering if it's going to take a tour down to that 6 o'clock location. Or maybe he's assuming that that was still built at the 9 o'clock. But that overlord is going to be exposed there. And that should be an easy kill for DeWalt before even a Scourge are able to get online. It looks like, yeah, we are seeing a move towards... So it looks like it's going to be 6 hatch. Potentially Hydra or Mutalist, depending on how Zeke wants to play it. A lot of Zealots on the front door. It looks like level 1 weapons is there. More Corsairs being built. Citadel of Adun is in place. There's a cannon, just in case. Zeke now in the red with that Overlord kill. Still hunting around. Some Scourge looking to intercept. Do manage to take out that initial Corsair. Some nice play from Zeke there. And the wall playing it really... Gateway Light looks like he's going to opt for the Bisu style play. The High Templar, or sorry, Dark Templar, potentially. In the back, he's got that Templar Archives building. We'll see. There's a lot of Scourge looking to go in and keep that, especially after the last match, I understand it. And it looks like they're going to be able to land that timing. Still two Corsairs back here, but if... If Ziki can keep that Corsair count low, it is going to mitigate a lot of the things that DeWalt wants to accomplish here. Level 1 weapons now online. Eight Zealots on the front. That's going to make these Zerglings much less effective. Level 1 armor immediately coming online. And a second Stargate is being built. I don't know that Ziki's going to scout it. I think this is a wise play from DeWalt. Let's see if he does produce... It looks like he's going for a High Templar first, but he is producing a Dark Templar on... The front lines. And keep in mind, there's no Overlord. So this is the nearest Overlord to the front. Ziki going ahead and backing out. Getting the Spine upgrade. Uh, there is not getting a... I don't think he's got level 1 armor. Which means he's going to have to retake map control. With... With his Hydralisks. And these Mutalisks are not going to be long for life against the Corsair Force. That is growing rapidly. Still peeking out, looking to make sure that I like the Zergling spread. Also to make sure that an additional base wasn't taken. Dark Templar with one kill, 6 o'clock location. Looks like it's pretty well defended against this. This is part, part of the difficulty of going Dark Templar these days. Is when Zergs shell up, they seem to shell up extremely well. Which is where you need kind of the, the Corsair fleet. It does have plus one weapons. To go ahead and clear things out. DeWalt. Being a little bit impatient here. He is going to be able to get one drone kill there. Two drone kills. But losing the Dark Templar otherwise. Well, sitting at 90 supply compared to 70. Might get the tech switch. It looks like he's not continuing to produce Dark Templar. Instead, he's just been content to get the High Templar. He's working on Psy Storm. Now adding additional gateways. Maybe if he can move out with these Corsair. This will definitely help prevent... Potentially, yeah, that air counterattack. Ooh, Mutalis going up. Not quite able to get a kill, but also spots a lot of the Corsairs. So at least that piece of information is in Ziki's corner. Ziki now moving up with a lot of Hydralisks. Starting to press towards that front door. And this is... 
Now the game becomes protect the High Templar. The Mule is looking to dive in, maybe get a probe kill, but I think also they want to land and get see if they can hit that High Templar in their glowing lightning eyes. Or is it just their entire head that's like a lightning bit when you look at it? Is it just their head is lightning and that's all it is? I mean, I guess that would make sense with the Archon, but I digress. Zeke getting a good drone count behind this. Or he has, I think he's got level 1 weapons, looking for level 2. Engaging, poking at the Corsair overhead. Needs to be able to dodge some Psy Storm here and there. The Zealots pressing. And right now, it's, yeah, delay DeWalt. Make sure he doesn't grab a third while you continue to drone and grab additional territory behind this. He's grabbing that 9 o'clock base as this engagement's happening here. A little bit of poking and prodding. Turn around, picking off a High Templar. Nice bit of micro there by Zeke. And the Zealots now pressing down and chasing these... Hydralisk looks like they might be able to get an additional kill yeah, as they get stuck on that doodad. The Mutalisks pushing forward. Going to pick that High Templar off as they engage in between. That's going to sacrifice potentially all of those Corsairs' lives. Or sorry, those Mutalisks' lives as the Corsairs are diving in on top of them. But the Zealots bullying these Hydralisks back to the 6 o'clock location. Those Mutalisks got absolutely wrecked. All the Hydralisks regrouping here to the 6. Looking to get part of the Sim City, Trying to reposition, actually. Because DeWalt is a tricky trickster and maybe looking to catch that High Templar again out of position. Or catch a couple shots of Corsair. Are going to be able to pick off that High Templar again before Storms drop. Some Lurkers now morphing midfield to create some delay. And the Mutalisks now looking to potentially envelop the Zealot Force. Trying to get free hits where they can. And again get shots at that Corsair fleet. DeWalt still... DeWalt way ahead in supply. So... Might be able to take additional shots, but right now Zeke feeling very, very comfortable. He's got that 9 o'clock base up. He's moved units up there. If he can get some Lurkers, it looks like the Lurkers are already blockading the ramp, so DeWalt's going to have trouble pushing into the 6. The Corsair fleet's still active, but it really hasn't done anything for him here. And some Lurkers, looks like they're running to the front. Here's the problem. When you go all these Corsairs, it does delay the robotics facility. It does delay observers. So if you can get that timing and get Lurkers out, it really can slow your opponent down. Mutalisks. Or sorry, Hydralisks still filtering in this midfield. Zeke now turning on the gas. Going ahead and dropping that Queen's Nest. He's got that second evolution chamber along the way. Level 2 weapons is not that far off. And the High Templar have just been picked off in mass. DeWalt finally grouping up to go ahead and potentially grab that 3 o'clock location. And Zeke saying, okay, you have to get defensive and... Worry about defending that three. I'm going to move up with my Hydralisks and potentially create a contained situation. DeWalt evacuating everything but the probe to the three o'clock location. And if he was thinking about taking that, that's certainly going to be a delay now. But with those Hydralisks out of position, the Observer and the Zealots that do have level one armor, keep in mind, and I don't, there are some lurkers. It looks like there's not a lot of lurkers at the natural expansion. Actually, where did all the lurkers go? The lurkers completely out of position. They're going to have to run back. Looks like a couple of them getting caught out of position. The Corsairs can pick off Overlords to keep that Observer in the air. And the Zealots might be able to just punch through everything else. The Zealots looking to group up at the Natural Expansion. Some good Psy Storms here over that back end Lurker line. The High Templar getting picked off. But now Zeke going to have trouble at his Natural Expansion as there's only a single Sunken Colony and no Lurkers to engage these Zealots. However, DeWalt going ahead and backing up as the Hydralists looking to potentially pin this attack force in. Re-engaging. Trying to swarm around and get the surround on these lurkers very rapidly, taking them out because they have that no armor upgrade and they're getting completely wiped out. A morph by Zeke to buy himself some time. Might want to cancel a lot of this, actually losing the lurker eggs, which is a statement. With these zealots and more lurkers filtering in. The Hydralisks continuing to group up. Zeke supply plummeting, but if he defends here, DeWalt's going to be in a lot of trouble because he's been sitting on two base, still hasn't grabbed his third. And it looks like the Lurkers have spawned. Are they just going to burrow here? As soon as they burrow, these Zelts need to get out of dodge. And now the Observer in flight as well. Zeke a bit in the red because the Corsairs trying to do a lot of damage, but this is mostly DeWalt trying to buy himself some time and prevent a contain now because if he doesn't get a move on, he's going to end up completely contained in his base across... Yeah, single Zealot looks like it's going to get picked off there. Moving up to that 3 o'clock location. DeWalt out of position to defend it. So he's going to lose that 3 once again. The Zealot picked off there. And now DeWalt in a lot of trouble. His main very close to being mined out. He still has a 
an okay attack force, but Zeke's matching him in supply, looking to maybe take that 12 o'clock base. Has done some work with these Corsairs in the meantime to at least kill some Overlords, but Zeke's economy is absolutely fantastic right now. He's actually ahead in the overall worker count, but that is a big group of Overlords that look real juicy. These Corsair diving in. It looks like they're going to get cleaned up. That's going to open up potentially a Mutalist counterattack, and Zeke has the economy to potentially do that. A couple Dragoons are out. Some High Templar are trying to drop some Psystorm. The Hydalus is just completely ignoring them and walking up to the 12 o'clock location, potentially to just try to focus down that Nexus. And this is just creating more distraction and time for Zeke to fill in and filter in additional units. If he can deny that 12 o'clock and deny that third, that will be match. Some Lurkers are at a nearby corner. It looks like some Zerglings alongside. Hive Tech is here. Defiler Mount is also planning down. It looks like we're seeing the Carapace upgrades starting to come online. And the Zerglings and Lurkers flooding in. They should very rapidly be able to take out that Nexus. That's causing a cancellation now to Walt in a situation where he needs to take out a base or two. Or potentially he might be out of this match. Level 2 armor is online. Which will help keep those High Templar alive for a little bit. But no, let's see now if Zeke overextended or if he has enough defense force. It looks like he's doing that wrap thing. He's go ahead and come in, go ahead and overextend, and I'm just going to jump on you after the fact. Psy storming that Lurker on that back line. High temp one High Templar picked off. The Observers still stand, though. The Zealot's engaging at the natural expansion. A lot of Lurkers picking at that back line. It looks like he's able to crowd that in. The Zergling's now engaging. Some Lurkers finally there, but not burrowed. Psy storm, beautiful Psy storm right on the edge of the Ze Zealot line, but additional units... Now sneaking in, Zeke's supply is plummeting, but keep in mind if he holds here, this is going to be a win condition. The Dragoons now eating Zerglings on his natural expansion. The Zealots have managed to get into the natural, but DeWalt calling GG because it is just too much. And a double GG, which I agree, that was a double GG game. So Zeke now going up 3-2, and we are going to go... So this was game five. Going to go into game six. Hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> Need to do math this second there.